calls for prayers after a firefighter is seriously injured while battling a blaze in Lawndale. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross is live at Stroger Hospital with more on the first responders' condition. Jeremy. Well, good evening, My Four people were displaced in the fire that that firefighter was trying to help out with. He remains in the hospital right behind us. That as investigators look into the cause. Main fire building, rear porch is out and back in the before 9 this morning, firefighters tried to smother the smoke and flames that spread to two buildings on St. Louis Avenue near on 38 Pike. Fire was like all on the side of the building, catching on to the house next door. It was started in the back, and, and the flame was big. A lot of uh, stuff in the way to firefighters that had a hard time forcing their way in. Two firefighters were injured in the process. Fire Commissioner Jose Santiago says one emergency responder who was battling the heat and fire had an emergency of his own. Firefighter Michael Manchester had a medical emergency where he went down, he was unconscious. Put Michael uh, in your prayers. Just recently, he opened his eyes and he's able to move. He's in there with his parents. Uh, the good news is from this, from the incident to now, he gained consciousness. I, I, I feel sorry for him, really bad. You know, they risked their lives to save somebody else's life, and I'm just praying for the fire, the fire. This does remind all of us that when that horrific call comes, all of us run away from that danger, that our firefighters here in the city of Chicago run towards it. Manchester's condition described as between serious to critical, however, they tell us that his condition has since stabilized. Now, the other firefighter suffered a minor injury that firefighter expected to be okay. Now, the blaze appears to be accidental. However, no specific cause identified just yet. Live outside of Stroger Hospital, Jeremy Ross, CBS2 News. My.